Hello, epidemiologists in 455. Dr. Geiger here, checking in. I promised you another video update, and I know you've all been waiting with bated breath for that. So here it is. It won't be too long. Um, as you probably noticed, the work in the course was kind of front-loaded. So actually, you've already made it through... Um, more of the assessments than what you will have for the second deadline. But you will have um, the challenge of, you know, retaining all of that information and, uh, and sort of, you know, making sure that you, you know everything cumulatively for the final exam. So I feel that that's a little bit more of a burden for the second half. But really, in terms of individual assessments, the, the bulk of the work is already behind you. So great job, all of you, for getting through that very rigorous, you know, first half of the course and first deadline. It's kind of, isn't it kind of going quickly and also not so much? I always feel that way with the course. In a way, it flies by. And in a way, um, you know, there's a lot to do. So you may feel... You may feel, I don't know, maybe feel, you may feel either way. Um, but regardless, the final deadline is approaching um, June 15th. So that is this, this coming Saturday. Um, only other thing I really wanted to point out that I noticed, and this is, you know, kind of typical as the course goes on, in the discussion boards, just make sure that you're using proper grammar, you're taking your time, you're demonstrating to me that you have, you know, done the work of the discussion board before you've posted, that you've read the material or that you've, you know, watched the media that, the media that you need to watch in order to make a strong original post. And then in your um, response to someone else, make sure that you're also being thorough. I mean, I don't expect it to be as substantive as your original post, but just saying, oh yeah, I agree with you, and I felt that way too, but, you know, something to that effect is not enough. So make sure that you're putting some thought into what, what that person took time to present in their original post, and that you're, you know, really thoughtfully responding to it. Um, in the career development um, assessment, what you need to do is, you, I'm not, I'm not grading you super difficult, you know, I'm not, not grading you super harshly on your, your resume that you're, that you're, um, posting, but I do want to make sure that you have a resume, that you are thinking about opportunities, because most of you are close to the end of your undergraduate academic career, and my goal is to get you to be thinking about what you could do, in terms of further training opportunities, um, particularly with the CDC, which we have had students successfully do. Um, I would like you to, uh, you know, show that your resume fits whatever opportunity you choose from the um, lecture video presented um, that you're to watch for that career development assessment. If you haven't gotten there yet, you don't know what I'm talking about, but maybe you'll come back to this video once you get there if you have any confusion. Or, of course, you can email me or post in the um, discussion board that's intended for questions that may arise. Um, but you could put a, a an objective at the top of the resume. You know, my objective is to... Um, you know, you can talk a little bit about whatever... Um, opportunity you choose, whether it's the um, the PHAP program or some other CDC opportunity that's discussed in that program. And if you really are enthralled by an opportunity that you're not yet qualified for or that you won't be qualified for with just a bachelor's degree, then you can tell me um, that you, you know, you realize that you're not yet qualified for it, but that actually this is a, that that this CDC program is a goal of yours once you receive your master's degree or your PhD or whatever the case may be. So it's it's just meant to be an activity to kind of get you inspired, get you thinking about your future and you know what 
what milestones you might need to hit in order to qualify for some of these really cool um, programs. That's all I've got for right now. I'm going to sign off and um, hope that you all are doing well and having a great summer. We're really chugging along and getting toward the end. So don't lose steam. Finish strong. Don't wait till the last minute. Um, make sure you send me any questions that you might have by Friday of this week. And um, I will see you back online. Take care.